What's up, YouTube? And what you know, my name is Domino, and I'm really bright. And welcome back to Pokemon Emerald, episode number four. There we go. Better. Okay, anyway. Bear with me. Bear with me. This episode is going to be a very bright episode. But anyway, welcome back to Pokemon Emerald, insanely randomized Nuzlocke, episode number 40. Um, in the last episode, we had some power caught, as you can see below me. If you want to check out that episode, make sure you click the i-card at the top of the screen. Now, in today's episode, uh, in today's episode, we're going to finish encountering everything. Um, and maybe talk about trying to decide on a final member to our team to train up in a grinding montage for the next episode. And then we sprint to the end. We're in episode 40. I kind of expected this series to be like 25, 26 episodes. And that's okay, especially if you guys are enjoying it. So if you are, and if you're excited for today's episode, make sure you hit the like button. Comment below our question of the day, which is quite simply, in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon and over the last month or so we've had three new ultra beasts released ultra beasts re uh, announced if you're not sure what those are check out my video that went up earlier today uh, but uh, i just want to know who your favorite ultra beast of all of them is and we'll talk about it as we go through the episode let's go ahead and start off with a team re 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 recap First up, we have Linnea, our fighting water type uh, nine tails with rain dish, modest nature, holding the mystic water to power up surf and dive, also with tail glow and secret power. Next up, we have Sonam, our fighting type Latios with sticky hold, mild nature, holding the black belt to power up his rock smash, also with magnitude, cut, and sand attack. So we need to, we need to, we need to buff Sonam a bit. Then we have Oscar, our very reliable fire-type septile with shell armor, naughty nature, holding the charcoal to power up his flame wheel and his sacred fire, also surf and zap cannon. Then we have Kajitan, our dragon-type Altaria with overgrow, old nature, holding the quick claw, also with surf, thunderbolt, blaze kick, and fly. Lastly, and newest to our team, we have Delma, our Ice Psychic type Rayquaza with huge power, naive nature, and those stats that you can see right on there. We only have Vital Throw and Spore. We're not worried about Delma for today's episode. In today's episode, I say we lead with Sona. So, let's talk about some Ultra Beasts. So what do we know so far? Now we don't know the new people's names. We don't know their names. Bennett, I'm I am so tired of seeing Bayonet in this game. We don't know the new Ultra Beasts names. We know them as uh again, if you haven't seen the newest stuff, like I'm talking announced yesterday. Yeah, I'm talking announced yesterday newest stuff. Make sure you check out um, the official trailers. Uh, or you can check out my video that went up earlier and we talk about it all there. So we have, um, what is it? You be, uh, adhesive. We have you be burst. And we have you be assembly are the new people. And then aside from them, we have, uh, well, that's annoying. But that is okay. That is why I carry around these. Alright, so we're trying to avoid battles as best we can. I'm not really talking about wild battles, but I'm talking about those battles. This is where we caught our newest member. So, of the new ones, I think Assembly, or no, yeah, I think Assembly it has an interesting concept in that all of his eyes, which every brick that he is, is an eye. I think that's super interesting. Um, I'm not supposed to head. You know how funny it is that Rayquaza appears here? Of all places in the game, Rayquaza appears on Route 130. I would have loved to have caught a level 32. That would have been amazing, as opposed to our level 10. Hold on. 
Or level 31. Now we're in Route 131, so we can catch another Pokemon. Uh, actually, that's why Linnea was in front, because Linnea is our kindest Pokemon. We have a Slugma. Okay. Slugma has Sand Stream. What if this evolves into something super powerful? Let me just throw a ball. I only have 13 Ultra Balls. I need to fix that. I definitely need to fix that. Okay, I'm trying to get to our behind the... Well, okay, I have our random name generator. I thought it was Leech Seed. Yeah, you're going to stop that. Why does it drow that much? Why does it why does it drow that much? Okay, another Ultra Ball. Well, I'm super glad that I didn't waste any time weakening that thing. Hey, wait a minute. Wait, everything is going bad. Okay. So we have Slugma, the lava Pokemon. It is a species of Pokemon that lives in a vol that lives in volcanic areas. If its body cools, its skin hardens and immobilizes it. To avoid that, it sleeps near magma. And his name, this fits so well. What level was this, by the way? We have Nils the Slugma. Let's check him out. Level 30? Nils the Flying type with Sandstream. Lacks nature. That's or whatever. We have Trick, Ingrain, Heal Bell, and Leech Seed. Bad, 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 and worse. TBH. And I have made it to Pacific Log Town. Which means I can fly and go get some more Ultra Ball. We are absolutely adding a new member to the team. Might not do it today. I might try and do it in a grinding montage uh, between episodes, but I am going to fly. Oh, it's right there. I was, I was like, where is the art? All right, let's buy like 39 of these things. I think I'm good on everything else. Uh, Kajitan, fly me back. Okay, so who, what are the other Ultra Beasts that we have? We have Feramosa, we have Feramosa, Buzzwool, Guzzlord, Kartana, Zerkatry, uh, uh, Nihilego. All right. We're going to get our Super Rod encounter here. We could surf, but we're doing a lot of surfing, so let's take this chance. Since we're in a town, since we're in a city, a town. Okay, here we go. What's it gonna be? 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 Gonna be? be something good. Be something good. All right, if you can live a surf, I'll catch you. Linnea, Linnea, you know what? Linnea is just a team player. Linnea wanted the team to get better. We have Minan, the cheering Pokemon. At a meeting of Pokemon Academies, it was announced that simultaneous exposure to electricity from a plus one Minan will promote circulation and boost vitality. All right, so we have we have Godfrey or Gottfried, Gottfried the Plusle. Let's check out Gottfried, the normal type with lightning rod, timid nature, 
I mean, that's... Look at... I mean, these stats aren't bad. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, the stats aren't bad, but... Yikes. <laughs> it's a yikes. It's a yikes. Okay. Um, I don't really want to explore this town just yet. But now we're in Route 132. Let's continue on with our Surf Encantadors. Is that all the Ultra Beasts? Did I name everybody? Or did I forget somebody? I mean, out of all of them, I would have to say that Kartana is my favorite. Um, I do like Kartana a bit. Also, we caught a, we found a Drowsy. In case you were... In case you looked away. In case you're falling asleep. We encountered a Drowsy. Uh, and we caught it on the first ball. And so far, we've caught three males. We have Drowsy the Hypnosis Pokemon. If your nose becomes itchy while you're sleeping, it's a sure sign that Drowsy is standing above your pillow and trying to eat your dreams through your nostrils. I want you to think about that one as you sleep tonight. All right. So I think I think if I read it right, it is. Angiru, the drowsy. Hello? The psychic fighting type with serene grace, timid nature. Timid nature makes me want to try. Detect fire blast, head button tickle. Timid nature makes me want to try to see if... Uh, to see if it's a good Pokemon. So... I might have to do an extended grinding session and just train up everything that can evolve. So, so far, I would have to train up Drowsy. Actually, no, I'm not going to do this right now. There's two more encounters that I can think of. Also, I'm curious. Pacific Log, it would have been a Spoink. What else? Spoink, okay. I'm not too worried about that. Now... Our only goal here is encounter. So I'm not worried about landing in a specific spot. I'm not really worried about collecting items because there's no master balls in this game. We can confirm that. Yep, and I missed it anyway. Wait, is that a new route? Okay, so we're in Route 133 now. And let's go ahead and find a Route 133 encounter. It will be... A Caterpie! Caterpie was caught. Another male added to the team. Caterpie, the worm Pokemon! Its voracious appetite compels it to devour leaves bigger than itself without hesitation. It releases a terribly strong odor from its antenna. Don't ask why I said that first word as loud as I did. I have absolutely... Also, you know what I noticed? When I talk really quietly, a microphone doesn't pick it up. And you're like, well, duh. But like, no, what I'm saying is... Hop on here. Help. Please. Ah! Wow! You actually tracked me down. If you could not... If you could just, like, leave... Alright. This is Route 134, our final encounter. It's a Chansey. Chansey! I will never not do that. I will never not do... Safari Ball. Four... The history. I was about to say. <laughs> I was like, I was like, dang, Chansey is down. For the hist no. You don't like history? Also, if Linnea dies, I'm gonna get yelled at. So if you could just stay in the ball. Alright, why do these names all fit? We have Chansey the Egg Pokemon. 
Chansey laid nutritionally excellent eggs every day. The eggs are so delicious, they are eagerly devoured by even those people who have lost their appetite. Tell me this name does not go with this. We have Chansey. We have Helen the Chansey. Are you kidding me? Hold on. Hard pass. Yeah, you're gonna stop. I guess I can go this way. Jensi! How much did I? Oh my gosh. Okay, I need to give you a lucky egg. Oh, don't you die now. Die. Give. Lucky egg. I was about to say, can I run into a Pokemon, please? Can I run into a Pokemon, please? Can I run into a Pokemon, please? Alright, let's see what our Caterpie evolves into. Aldis, do you want to be on the team? Aldis? Alright, my eyes are covered. I don't want to peek. Aldis. 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 You know what? You're not Jim. I shouldn't treat you like this. It's gonna be disappointing. Alright, if you were listening to that and you heard it. <laughs> you don't say. Gligar, the poison type with arena trap. How do I feel like that's almost accurate? Alright, hold on. Let's check. <laughs> I've done all of these, right? I did 125. That's where Shoal Cave is. So, the encounters that we have left, we have Victory Road, like actual Victory Road, which is in, in there somewhere. We have the Caves, we have Mirage Island, we have Sky Tower, we have the Caves here, we have the Caves in some other places. I think we've done everything that we can do. So to wrap up today's episode, I swear I saw something. We're gonna fly back to- Oh! I am definitely forgetting something. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, that's good. I am most definitely forgetting something. We need to head to Sutopolis City. Our final encounter will be our Sutopolis City encounter. Go ahead and dive. Wait, what did that say? Okay. Yeah, we're just doing one underwater. That'd be wild. Not where I wanted to be. Grr! I know that's where I need to go next. Don't worry about it. That's where we're heading next. Tricking me. Ain't tricking me, woman! Where am I? Okay. Heading left. Found it! Our final encounter on our second surf excursion of this LP will be a Pikachu. 
Pikapi. Hey Pikachu. A Pikachu. A Pikachu. We have Pikachu, the mouse Pokemon. It stores electricity in the electric sacks on its cheeks. When it releases pent up energy in a burst, the electric power is equal to a lightning bolt. Yeah, don't say. And we have. Matilde, the Pikachu. The ice type with liquid ooze, adamant nature, makes me want to try. Makes me want to try. Haze, dig, roleplay, spit up, garbage. All right. Hey, shh. Yes, I'm talking to you. Shh. Anyway, so here's what I need to do. In the grinding montage, I need to train up Centric. I need to maybe move, uh, evolve Grow. I need to evolve Didacus. I need to evolve... I need to see what I can do about Phoebus. I need to evolve Curlia. Vigoroth. Chinchow. Slugma. Drowsy. Helen. And Pikachu. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. That's a whole lot of Pokemon. And all I want to do is play Digimon Link. But that's going to do it for today's episode. If you did wind up enjoying this extremely bright episode... Make sure you hit the like button down below. Comment our question of the day, which is, uh, what is your favorite Ultra Beast in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon? And we will see you next week for the next episode of Pokemon Emerald, the insanely randomized Nuzlocke. Until then, have a blessed day.